Good afternoon, everyone. It's uh, half past three here in the UK on uh, the 5th of February, 2021. A uh, very healthy couple of days in markets. And uh, uh, I'm looking at Vectorvest USA. And as you can see, that's followed through today. Uh, the advances pretty much twice that of the declines. And uh, all the uh, market timing systems on Vectorvest are now pointing up. Short term trend is up. Uh, the medium term trend is up, the longer term trend is up, long may it last. Uh, markets pulled back a little bit after the open, but uh, looking fairly steady. I think I've got the Vectorvest market timing uh, chart loaded. Here we are. Uh, this is a equally uh, weighted index of all of the shares that we follow on the North American market. Uh, and uh, as you can see, it uh, very nicely pulled back to the last old high. Uh, and has proceeded up this way. That, that red uh, day was uh, last Friday in the middle of the GameStop angst that I'm sure you've all read about. Uh, the red and the uh, green triangles are the longest term measure uh, of the trend on Vectorvest and that long term measure of the trend has been up since the uh, 10th of November, as we'll see in a second, pretty much the same in the UK. So we're pushing up, we're right at the top of this channel. Uh, nevertheless, I remain very positive about this market. Um, uh, the buy-sell ratio was advanced to eight, so we're still in this mega overbought situation, but certainly the market looking very, very strong uh, to me. Uh, so uh, if we, uh, in fact, look, uh, and I've been busy, uh, in my own conservative way. Uh, I bought into Zoom, Amazon, DraftKings, Square, Palantir. That was just done. Palantir was just done today. Uh, Peloton, not going so well. Market didn't like those results. And Neo during in the middle of the week. And as you can see, the S&P up 11 uh, ticks, uh, 11 points on the day. So if you have a look at these, uh, I'm particularly pleased uh, with Zoom today. Uh, uh, that's Zoom, folks, and uh, this falling wedge, it's, it's, it's my own, there's the moving average is just coming on. Uh, the falling wedge, is my that's my own particular creation. Uh, it takes a little bit of uh, imagination uh, to uh, come up with it, I know, uh, but uh, uh, that's my own target on this particular share. The only thing that I'm sure of is it won't get there in a straight line. Uh, and that's my own construction uh, for a, uh, a falling wedge. Uh, if you think it's rubbish, you'll at least have to admit that it's novel rubbish. You'll not see it anywhere else. Uh, if I put on volume here, get rid of those lines for a second. Uh, if I put on volume, uh, uh, you can see that I was attracted to this thing because uh, I, I don't like to pick bottoms but it pushed up here on rising volume and it went sideways here on falling volume. I know, folks, that the moving averages are still pointing down, uh, but uh, what can one do? If you actually draw a trend line here from that high and do our best to go through here, uh, we can see that there's a reasonable trend line there with uh, one, two, three, four touches to it. That broke on rising volume. It pulled back, didn't quite kiss it, but went back to those tops. Let me put up a three-month chart. Went back to those tops, and now it's pushing up. Uh, where is it going to go? It's on a buy recommendation in Vectorvest. We shall see. Uh, we shall see uh, how that goes, but uh, it's in the money, uh, and uh, that's, that's moved quite quickly. So uh, let's go through these. Uh, this Amazon uh Outstanding results, hard to see how they can actually do uh, any better than that. As you can see, there's the earnings per share on Vectorvest rising within this consolidation. That normally means an, uh, that this is going to break out and break out in the right direction. It broke this uh, trend line, it's pulled back to kiss it. Uh, let's see, let's see if it can hold here. Uh, uh, that's DraftKings. Uh, fundamentals not great, that's purely a technical play. Broke this level, as you can see, there was a gap up, and it's going, it's going the right way. Clearly, it's got a lot to do to get through this old high at 64. I'm going to try and hang in there. Uh, that's Square. Now I bought back into Square. Uh, as you know, well, at least uh, some of you will know, I got stopped out of it just here. Let's look at this. I bought in just there. 
I did it online. In fact, I was doing one of the Monday afternoon meetings for VectorVest and uh, I pretty much got stopped out uh, the second after I got in. Anyway, I went back to that last old top and then we had a couple of good days and uh, maybe uh, my reasons for getting back into it, whether they're making money or whether to get my money back, I really don't know. But nevertheless, I'm long uh, of square at the moment. Uh, and uh, bought into this this morning. Uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen, but uh, the um, uh, rationale is quite simple. Uh, there's the old high. I, I made a little bit in this run, uh, and we put the volume on here again. You can see this huge volume and these spikes, and then it pulled back on falling volume, and I'm hoping it's going to push up on rising volume, so that's just a pull back to an old high. Uh, close to the zone and that's what Richard Wyckoff called so many years ago, a hundred years ago, he called it a sweet spot. Wyckoff would have been a buyer at 30. I was a buyer at slightly above 30. We shall see what happens. Uh, and that's Peloton. Uh, was going great. Bought it somewhere around here a couple of days ago. Was going great. And as you can see, it's pulled back uh, today on me. Uh, my stop loss is down under the 20, under the 55 period moving average somewhere. So uh, we shall see. And Neil, again, uh, pulled back to this old high. A good level. I'm not unhappy with that. Let's see uh, what happens. So that's what I've been um, uh, doing. Uh, I just want to put up the... S&P uh, and then we'll look at the UK market which I've virtually done nothing in I must admit uh, uh, put up there's the S&P and get rid of the EPS which doesn't apply get rid of the volume and that uh, is the S&P it's pushed off this level uh, 3 7 level pretty much to the tick and uh, it's broken uh, this high a day or two ago uh, and uh, we shall see what happens. A lot of the action happening these uh, this time on the overnight market. Uh, if we have a look at this over, uh, this is a five minute chart. And uh, five minute chart uh, has been trending quite strongly. That's the little pullback this morning. Let me make that a bit bigger for you. Uh, that's a little bit of a pullback this morning. Uh, that's the opening bar, very strong. And it's pulled back came off the 21 period moving average and it's pulled back in three waves that's what some people call an abc an elliott wave the harmonic patterns people call it ab equals cd same thing uh and uh is this pushing going to push strong i'm not trading intraday today but if i was i'd be long okay simple as that uh so uh looks good and we're now 3885 uh so uh i'm think we're going to have a big day there's a it's we're only an hour in folks anything can happen uh but uh, uh i'm I, I remain quite uh, bullish about this market uh and uh let's uh, see how it goes but I, i'm holding position so uh if we uh, cross the atlantic to the uk well uh we've been uh, affected by the same uh breeze and as you can see uh, 574 shares on a buy uh, 132 on a sell obviously the rest of them are on a hold and the buy sell ratio at a very healthy 4.35 uh, we the short term has trend has turned up after quite a few days down uh, so everything in the UK has moved up if I uh, pull up the uh, market timing graph there we are and um, uh, make it a few months we've got uh, again uh, the buy sell ratio moving up uh, and uh, we came off uh, fair this this level that I'm looking at in fact is that that's a February highs so we actually pulled back right to those February highs again and uh, heading up here so uh, steady as she goes uh, and uh, in the UK I haven't done a great deal I must admit uh, Tristel is going well uh, and uh, uh, games uh, is going well uh, so again let's uh, go through those the action folks has been in the US that's that's where the action has been uh, this share has been quite good uh, from about 425 it's now at 650 we can't be bad to that 
uh, this share uh, if we can get through this 130 uh, 1350 level uh, has got a great deal of legs to it in my humble opinion uh, Sylvania Platinum building a base uh, and certainly uh, our gold market has taken a bit of a hiding uh, but uh, uh, platinum hanging in there so JD Sports major acquisition uh, especially in the US market seems to have taken that positively uh, and uh, we've been in this range now for a heck of a long time I got a little worried when this uh, eight pound level didn't hold but above that level again uh, everything looking strong as you can see uh, some nice big big volume days coming in here so that day up yesterday uh, well liked by the market four million shares bought at that level uh, that to me is a long-term holding Halma uh, I, I, I love the share it's well above the February highs uh, so uh, a long-term holding for me Bellway good uh, numbers uh, out of uh, Barrett uh, yesterday and, and Bellway I liked it because it's sitting in one of my famous spring and I felt it was going to spring off that 2650 level and it's done that I bought it just here uh, and sweated in it for a little while if we can get much higher here then this thing can move uh, so that's my only uh, old world share team 17 doing exactly what I would expect it to do uh, before a move pull back to old highs let's see uh, uh, Pershing Square I was worried about and I think you should be worried about as well uh, so watching that uh, Pan African Resources incredibly strong in a weak gold market, uh, not not a, a very weak gold market, and that's the GB Group. I really like the GB Group. I think this is one of the few UK companies that can really make a big impact over the next year or two. Uh, CCC got a lot of work to do to get through that old high, uh, and uh, Games Workshop. Well, uh, that a hundred pound level, uh, and if we put. Uh, a, uh, a fib on here for those of you that are fib analysts I know pe a lot of people just can't get their mind around it uh, and it sat on that 618 level for a very long time and I would suspect we're going to the 78% level now to scare the cats here uh, and if I that is at uh, 9690 so we have to be uh, careful here uh, on uh, Games Workshop, folks. It was a long-term trend line that's just been broken. Moving average is just about to cross. The fundamentals couldn't be better, but uh, it, it's a, started to get a very crowded uh, trade. Uh, when I first bought into Games Workshop, I was laughed at because I was buying into a company uh, that made toy soldiers. Uh, I was laughed at by the experts in the industry. Uh, and now everybody knows about it so I uh, don't like it when it gets too crowded uh, but nevertheless uh, I think that this level will hold a heavy have a look at it over the long term uh, we can see uh, the trend in the share and much more importantly the trend in profitability in the share this forecast earnings per share and you can hardly even see this little bit of a pullback on it so if you can hold on to that folks uh, uh, if you've spread bet, if you're spread betting into it, well, you need to be really careful. Uh, that's Cranswick. Big volume spike in it yesterday, uh, uh, and uh, one of my core holdings. I, I really like the share. And uh, that's Lion uh, Trust Asset Management again. Uh, Big, big volume spike in it yesterday, sitting at support. That's where I like to buy them. And uh, as long as it stays above that level, I'll be okay. Polymetal, uh, again, respecting that 78% retracement in a ghastly gold market uh, that uh, is uh, running stop losses galore. i still very positive about the gold market. And uh, Polymetal pays me a really, really good dividend. If I can hang in there, I'm going to hang in there. Uh, I, I, I'm... I'm uh, uh, conscious that I haven't done a great deal in this uh, UK uh, portfolio. The portfolio is up and up significantly since I bought most of those shares. That was a way back in last April and I'm doing my best to try and uh, hang in and 
let the ball uh, do the work. Uh, Pershing Square is the one technically uh, that's given me the heebie-jeebies a little bit. Uh, so, uh, Monday afternoon, half past one, uh, uh, I'll uh, be doing uh, a... a complete review of markets uh, for the Vectorverse clients. Uh, if you're not a Vectorverse client and you want a complimentary invite, then it's simple. David.paul at Vectorverse.com and I'll send you one with the greatest of pleasure. Okay. Uh, so Monday afternoon, half past one till I run out of air about half past uh, two. Uh, and uh, we'll look at the US market. We'll look at uh, the UK market, we'll look at uh, commodities, especially copper, we'll look at oil, and we'll look and focus on the gold market uh, and silver markets. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.